Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the Student News Six Feet Apart Edition. Virtual Edition. Virtual Edition. Uh, Welcome, everyone. So we just wanted to share with everyone, uh, all you students, some expectations through these days. Yes. It's a lot different than normal class. It's going to require for you to do a lot of things at home that you don't typically do. And so we have a few guidelines mm -hmm. going forward here. Yes. Uh, we know that we're going to be expecting the unexpected, and we're going to have as much grace and flexibility as possible with you, and please do the same for us. So, a few student expectations. Some of these sound familiar, but we're going to hammer them again. Yes. Log on to theaet.com from 5 to 8 a.m. every Between, morning. Yeah, somewhere in there. Make sure to log in for your attendance. Uh, then, move over to Schoology at about 7.45. So at 7.45, log on to Schoology to check for class updates and check your email. Right, so you're basically just gonna go like it's, instead of coming to school uh, here, you're just going to go to school on your computer. So that's like you open the doors up to the building, there's Mrs. Clark saying hello to you, virtually. Yeah, we should make a video of her, like, be amazing. Um, and then you go to your first class. We suggest that everyone uh, make a fake chip card reader to chip into to keep that routine going. Teachers will be posting assignments. Every day. So every day, you'll see that in your class updates and whatnot. They're going to look a lot different than what you're used to. Um, things are going to be a little more traditional than what we are used to as a school for sure. But what's of, but of importance, what's of utmost importance is that we realize the routine being most necessary thing here that you're getting on. You see what your daily assignment is, get that done for the day, and we move on to the next. Mm -hmm. So there's going to be a bunch of different things and platforms that you may be using, but you're going to start at Schoology. That'll be your hub, and you'll go from there. If you happen to miss a deadline, something happens. We already talked about being gracious and flexible, but we want you to take the responsibility of reaching out to teachers right. if you miss something. So if you know for a fact, like, hey, I have to be, you know, my mom has to take me somewhere, you know, I'm going with grandpa here, I have to watch my little brother at this time, and you're going to miss a deadline or miss a class or whatever, that's okay, but you got to let somebody know. Also, your favorite thing to do, mind play. <gasps> I'm so excited. Oh my God, it's still, it's still here. It's still around. Work on it, 20 minutes a day, 7th through ninth graders. Like it never left. 10th, 11th, 12th. Make sure you read some books, do a lot of other things to oh, yeah. continue those skills. So, schedules. Schedules will look a little bit different virtually. Yes. Um, some of them are very similar, but... I'd say 7, 8, and 9 uh, are different. Are a little different. Yeah. So, the 7th and 8th grade schedule, which will be posted... There'll be a picture of it right here. here. Okay. Start at 745, you're going to log on to AT, check your emails, and then you're going to go through kind of a normal rotation. Right. So second period for seventh grade, however, sixth period will fit in there for eighth grade, and then you go third, fourth, fifth, lunch. You guys have an hour lunch. That's our gift to you. Yep. Then you have seventh, eighth, and then we've added some office hours at the end. So if you have any things you got to wrap up on or questions you have to ask the teachers. Yeah. Like we're saying, the teachers are going to be there to help you out. So we're expecting some craziness, some troubles. The teachers are there to help you. So are we. Yeah. Ninth grade. So number one, it's going to be right here. You're going to get started at 745, check your email, and log on to AT for your attendance. From there, you're going to go first period, 8 o'clock, second period, 845, third period, 930, fourth period, 1015, and fifth period at 11. After that, you have a pretty nice long lunch right here. And after lunch, we're going to have what we call office hours. That's the time that your teachers are going to be present and available for consistent communication and live communication to help you out um, to make sure you're getting what you need to get done uh, and to make sure it's as fluid as possible with the least amount of um, hiccups and confusion. And for 10th and 11th grade and 12th. Okay. Same old. Yeah. It's really the same. Due to a lot of your college classes and syncing up with Clark State and, and other um, college resources, it's the same. So use that time wisely. Go through those things um, like you typically would. Right. If you have questions, um, make sure to reach out to your teachers. Yes. Most important part. If you have a question, 
ask somebody the question. So please be patient. Don't forget, next week we still have spring break, <laughs> as of now. Yeah. And so it'll be a week of virtual, a week of spring break, and then a week back of virtual, virtual. And hopefully we're back in the building, but who, who knows? knows? We miss you the most. And we love you. We love and you the most. We love giving high fives, and this is how we do them here. Huh? A little bit of a turn. Huh. Mm. And that's how we give a high five nowadays. <laughs>